Demonstration consists of a standard household fan. We've painted the blades black so they don't reflect quite so much in the strobe lamp. Put a little white sticker on one of the fan blades, okay, and this allows us to keep track of the rotation of the fan. Um, the fan itself is driven by a variac, so I can change the speed. It's just a DC motor and the voltage you supply determines the rotation for it. And so I just change my AC supply voltage from zero up to 240 volts. And I have a strobe lamp at the front here. So the strobe lamp I've got set at the moment to 400 um, RPM. Okay, it's around about six hertz. And so what we should find is the first Brillouin zone corresponds to, or the edge of the first Brillouin zone corresponds to the fan rotating at half the speed of the strobe, okay? So if you remember back to before, um, it corresponds to a wavelength equal to 2A, which is the period for this has to be double the period for the strobe. Okay, so let's fire it up and have a look at what happens. So if I turn the strobe on now, we have strobe counting out 400 uh, RPM. You can see the stick is stationary and that's because the fan's off at the moment. If I start the fan up, you'll see that that sticker will start rotating. Set the period for the fan to be two times the period for the, uh, for the strobe lamp. I get two spots appearing, okay? And if I set the voltage just right, those should become stationary. There we have it there. So right now I'm sitting right on the uh, first Brillo One zone edge, and if I move to either side of it, you'll notice that the pair of spots actually start rotating in one direction on one side and in another direction on the other. So I can now increase the speed that the fan's moving at, and I can go to sit on the edge of the second Brillo One zone, and that corresponds to the fan rotating at the same speed as the strobe, and so I should see one spot because the fan blade will rotate once per flash of the strobe. So there it is there. That's the edge of the second Brillouin zone. And you'll notice that again, if I sit off the, the right value for the Brillouin zone edge, the spot will change the direction that it rotates in. Okay, so here it's going around in an anti-clockwise direction, and if I speed up a little bit, it will become stationary right at the zone edge, which is there, and then as I move to the other side, it will start rotating in the other direction. So at the edge of the first Brillouin zone, zone, we have two spots. At the edge of the second Brillouin zone, we have one spot. So at the edge of the third Brillouin zone, we should now get that mirror reflection occurring and we should end up with two spots again. So let's increase the speed now and go to the second, uh, sorry, the edge of the third Brillouin zone. You'll notice that possibly three spots pops up on the way in between, which is just uh, another integer number of rotations of the fan blades relative to the strobe. And you can see now we've got our two spot pattern back, okay? Uh, it's rotating a little bit, but if we sit right on the edge, we should be able to stop it. There we go. Okay, so this is now the third Brillouin zone edge, and again, you'll notice that if I sit a little bit underneath the right speed, it will rotate anti-clockwise, and if I sit a little bit over it, it will rotate clockwise, okay? The fourth Brillouin zone, which is now two rotations of the fan for every flash of the strobe. So we've got our one point back. If I sit over, we rotate clockwise yet again. And if I sit under speed, we rotate anti-clockwise. Okay, so again, everything looks exactly the same at the Brillouin zone edge. Back again, we're with one spot, so we've still got this mirror symmetry going on. Okay. 
Okay, and so now I can go to the fifth Brillouin zone, 190. And I should get back my two spots again. Again, if I go higher, I get clockwise rotation. If I go lower, I get clockwise rotation. And finally, if I want to, I can go to the edge of the six, and I should see the same thing repeated all over again. I should get my one spot back. There's the edge of my six through one zone. Okay? And so that explains why Brillouin zones end up being equivalent. It's just an aliasing effect, and that mirror symmetry reflects integer half numbers of rotation um, per sampling of the system. There it is, a simple demonstration for understanding Brillouin zones.